University of Nottingham. Thank you very much for joining us here on France 24. The London patient is in remission. At what point can we say they've been cured of HIV? And I don't think we can ever say that either, <clears throat> excuse me, the London patient or indeed uh, the Berlin patient that you heard about in your report have been cured. Uh, but what we do know is that they won't be suffering from the effects of damaging effects of the, the virus. So we can never be sure entirely that every last bit of virus has been cleared from the body. But we know that it's not damaging the cells that leads to, to AIDS. And whilst it's early days for the London patients, the Berlin patient, it was about 10 years ago now that they received their transplant. Now, both patients who've been cleared of HIV have received a bone marrow transplant, as you said, to treat blood cancer cells. This is a treatment that isn't available to every HIV positive person out there. No, it's not. And it, it doesn't come without its own risks. It's a very dangerous uh, procedure because essentially you're destroying the very cells that you rely on to protect you from other infections. But, but what this does give is uh, additional proof that by altering the cells in such a way that you can remove this protein, so this gene mutation removes a protein from the surface of the cell which the virus relies on to gain entry into the cell. It's called a, a CCR5 receptor. And, and by removing that receptor, you can make the cells resistant to infection. And, and so there's a lot of interest in genetically engineering uh, patients' blood so that they remove this gene, remove this protein from the surface of the cells and therefore make them resistant. And doing it by manipulating the patient's own cells, it's much safer. Now, lots of progress has been made to combat the spread of HIV. Perfectly healthy people can, for instance, uh, take uh, PrEP to prevent getting the virus. But is the best way to contain HIV to treat positive patients and ensure they're taking their ARTs or antiretroviral treatment? It, it's a very important point you raise. So we know that the WHO have HIV as a target infectious disease to eradicate and they're hoping to stop the HIV epidemic through treatment because you've, you've mentioned these highly effective treatments. What they mean is that the virus can't replicate, you don't produce virus and therefore you're less infectious to other people and by controlling and maintaining somebody's virus under uh, detectable levels it stops the, minimises the risk of them passing that virus on. But I think ultimately, we think of infectious disease eradication, the, the best way is through uh, vaccination. And unfortunately, the progress to a vaccine has been uh, very difficult. With regarding the London patient, you seem very cautious uh, with how we should take the, the, the news of uh, the remission. Uh, do you envision a day where HIV positive people could actually cure themselves of the disease without undergoing some torturous procedure? Yeah, I, I think um, I'm, I'm cautious purely because we know this virus hides away in the blood cells that we rely on for our immunity. And there are lots of places that this virus can hide away. It can be small amounts of virus, but getting rid of those long term reservoirs is very difficult. Now, I, I'm fairly confident that the data that I've seen regarding this study shows that there's no detectable virus, certainly not by standard lab tests. But we can't be absolutely sure that the virus has been totally removed. And, and until we know that, we can't say he's cured. But I think what we can be confident about is for the moment he's not taking his drugs and yet there's no sign of virus. And that's a very, very good sign. A good sign indeed, Jonathan Ball. Thank you very much for joining us on the programme today.